I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft and this video is for people who are interested in CNC routers or lasers uh, either at a hobby level or thinking about buying one and uh, for the monetary potential behind it. So the, I want to talk a little bit beyond the making money of a, uh, off of a CNC router or CNC laser and really kind of give you the uh, awareness of what's behind that. I mean, let's just start off. Can you make money with CNC routers and lasers? Yes, people do it all the time. It's just, uh, it's not just, okay, I can create some amazing looking thing and then I'm going to start making money from it. Let's just start off at the bottom. The first thing is, why do you, are you considering a CNC machine? To make money is it so you can get the money or is it because of the passion of doing what you want to do with it the creative juices that flow out of you and then from that passion the income will return if you're chasing money it's just not going to work you're going to get bored of it real quick you're going to say this doesn't work because you're too impatient and you're focused on what you don't have instead of fo focusing on the creation and the, the the value generation that you can uh, do with the cnc machine so First is that whole idea of money. Now, let's get to the next level. There's a lot of videos out there, people talking about the different products that they make that they make money off of, and they tell you that you can make money off of it. They tell you how easy it is to make it and stuff, and it's just not that simple. There's a lot of building up to that kind of stuff. First of all, you gotta learn the CNC equipment. You gotta be prepared to invest the money and the time and the social awareness um, I'll talk about that in a minute but I, just social awareness is like me right here in this video talking to you making you aware of my presence and my ability so I can give you value so you come back for more right that's uh, I'll, I'll come back to that because that's huge 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 but when you want to make money on a CNC I mean you have to come into this business perspective and you're mindset too. It's not like a job where you plug in, uh, clock in and clock back out after eight hours and you're done. When you're an entrepreneur where you're pretty much starting off by yourself or you have a partner or something like that, it's you have to be prepared to commit time. I mean, it kind of goes like this. When, when you make that commitment to start a business, that's your life and you have the inconveniences of eating spending time with family going to the bathroom sleeping and what else what taking a shower those are the inconveniences when you're an entrepreneur so th th this is something to become really aware of and what drives people that actually succeed in making money in CNC is they have this passion behind them and they're creators right they they have this artsy kind of thing inside of them that's got to make stuff and, and and they found the niche the markets that they can uh, build their their passions in and sell them so this is something to be aware of now if you don't really know what your passion is that's okay as long as you know you get the creative juice in you and you start to experiment and discover in my case let's see where is it it's finding a niche right um, I'm a Jeep lover and people who own Jeeps are in a click. And since, since I understand that click, I can market to that click. And that's exactly what I'll do with a product like this, which I am now, by the end of this week, based on the, the, the publishing date of this video, which is November 2020, late in the month, um, I'll be marketing on YouTube and Facebook. I will be one of those skippable ads. but. That's kind of the way it goes. It's a niche. I've got another niche. One is uh, because of my uh, CNC machining background. I make videos about CNC for the beginners. People like you who are trying to figure this out or buy have bought a machine or you know and, and need the knowledge in your mind. You've got the creative juice. You just don't know how to make it work on the machine. So then you have the investments of time and money. I talked about that briefly when all the other stuff in life that you have to do, like eat and crap and stuff, is a complete inconvenience. 
you have the learning investment time, which is hard to do, right? I mean, you have to sit for several hours watching training videos on how to run your software and then how to get tips for what you can make and how to, how to process it and what's a better way of processing whatever it is that you niche down into. Then you have the financial investment. The machine is not, like, that's the base of your business. Then you have to buy the tooling and the measuring equipment and, and replacements for the tooling and the material that you're making stuff out of. And then there's the marketing. But you got to get out there. You can't just make stuff and have it just like happen. This is like the most common mindset mistake that a lot of people have is you can do it organically. My YouTube channel, what you're watching right now, is organic. I put out videos as often as I can uh, about CNC routing, and I'm not quite into lasers yet, but I'm getting there. Uh, I talk about Bob's CNC machine because it's an excellent hobby machine, and by the way, I recommend if you are considering machines and you're not sure, it's a really good place to start because, number one, the you put the machine together and you really learn what it's about and how things move and um, how they come together. Number two, the machine for the footprint that it machines relative to cost is exceptional and number three their customer service is through the roof I've never ever ever seen in my life a little small home company where they will be on the phone with you on a Saturday troubleshooting a problem I had I've got many many comments on my channel throughout my videos of uh, Bob's CNC um, customer service they over deliver times 10 and I have to vouch for that too relative to the other companies I've checked out like X-Carve and Chipoco, Yara Home. Yara Home actually has really good uh, customer service but they're just making small machines. Anyway, let's get back on this. The investment in money and then the marketing, right? Uh, I was talking about that. The marketing, you have to understand how the markets work today and what in your niche where where is the market hanging out at what do they want you know the market talks to you just because I want to sell these and I'm going to sell these doesn't mean that they're gonna sell the market is going to tell me if that works or not I mean I think it will <laughs> there's a trick to marketing but I'm not going to talk about this in this video um, so let me look at my notes here branding Right? So there's branding and awareness. I build the awareness by creating videos. I plaster my projects all over the place. And I go to businesses and I say, look what I made for you. Okay, I'm, This is like giving first, giving value first. You know, you're prepared to donate your efforts where maybe 80% of them aren't going to pan out. This is for a local restaurant, you know, a, um, uh, a coaster that I designed and made off of their logo. And it hasn't totally panned out. It will, but it's also a learning curve, right? Learning how to do this kind of stuff, learning how to engage with businesses and what have you. So, and then we got online advertising. So let's, you know, I, I think I mentioned social platforms. Let me look here. When I create my stuff, like I said, I put my stuff everywhere that I can. And it's a pain in the ass, literally. My favorite is YouTube videos because I know I'm teaching people here and I'm engaging with them. And that's the part I like. When I'm posting things on Facebook or Instagram, Pinterest, and it's like, oh my gosh, do I want to do that? And that's like sucks out creative time. But that's just the part of the business. You have to create that time to do all this other stuff building a website which at this point is still not completed idcwoodcraft.com and you have to uh, what did I say value creation so and then you have to understand how these social platforms work every one of them works different YouTube works different from Facebook from Instagram from Pinterest from this bunch of them 
and you have to understand how they work, how to get your videos ranked up there, and you have to ask people. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you know in videos when people are always saying, when well, you hit the like button, please subscribe, blah, 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 they're trying to build up their presence so YouTube will rank them. And by the way, while you're listening to this right now, if you would hit that up button or the down button, either one, that gives it a little boost. What really gives it the boost is if you comment on it, viewer engagement, and the, the average watch time. If it's getting higher and higher, YouTube will rank the video more. It'll show up more often in search queries. But when it comes to that stuff, I also have to make sure that this content is valuable, that there's stuff in the description that says certain things. I have to make sure I use keywords. My tags have to be... Uh, specific. These are the kind of details you have to learn, and it's a pain to learn it. But once you got it, you got it. So that's some of the stuff that you really have to be aware of when you're doing this kind of stuff. It, but when it comes down to making stuff, you're not going to enjoy it if it's not something that is coming from you. When I do this cheap kind of thing like that and like that, I really enjoy it because I'm passionate about Jeeps. And so I kind of do it for me and I think, you know what, I like this, I'm going to try to sell it. And so let's get into some other stuff. What are you going to sell? You don't know yet and that's okay. How are you going to sell it? You know, where's the market? What is the market? What niche will you get into? How will you hit that market? And then you have the current times, the economy. Right now, we're in uh, the coronavirus. Things are getting crazy again. And so people aren't out shopping. So it's, it's like I'm not putting as much emphasis on stuff like this out in the restaurants and stores because they're all hurting. However, I am you know, making sure that I'm doing that. So I have to hit the market in a different way. And that's why I'm doing this. This, by the way, is a mirror dangly and can be a hood ornament. It's going to have this engraving on the other side as well. And it'll be featured with a, you know, a customized name or something like that. So, you know, how is the market going to work? And it's actually building your presence through websites and what have you. So, from my experience over the last two and a half years, I joined a, an education that teaches people how to build businesses online called mentors.com and they have these programs, launchu.com and you know, exceptionally built, well-built organization to teach people like you and me to create a business on the internet so we can go solopreneur and create our own businesses and have the mentoring and the, the really deep dive training. If you want to know about it, there's links down below. But really it comes down to, are you willing to make, make the commitment to make it work? Because if you're chasing money, it's not gonna work. Okay, you have to want to do it. If you're not sure and you have a creative juice inside of you, I would say buy a machine, an inexpensive, machine. Yara Homes has a $300 CNC router that's like this big, right? They've got a $300 laser that's like this big. I've got the laser. You know, it, it does fine for for what I want to do. Um, buy, the, buy a small piece of equipment and experiment and play. So I think I tried to cover everything that I kind of... Uh, thought was really important beyond the money making thing about uh, getting a CNC router, CNC laser and making money. I just want to rehash, you're going to have to create the value, make the awareness and do the work to actually get you out there. Otherwise, it's just not going to happen. I hope this helps. Um, like I said, thumbs up if, uh, if you feel like it give me a comment I would certainly appreciate that and I will respond to your comment personally because ask me a question because I will tell you everything I know and um, subscribe <laughs> that, that's what I want right I want subscribers the more audience I have the closer I get to being able to monetize my channel I want to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year will I be able to do that at this rate I don't know but 
we'll see. Anyway, this is Garrett, IDC Woodcraft, where we are creating awesome things like that. And I've got a whole slew of stuff sitting over here in my room <laughs> that I've created because it's so much fun. If you're a creator, go ahead and try it out. You can make money off of it. You're going to have to be diligent, though. It's just not going to happen. You have to, if I was to wrap this up, I would wrap it up with this one phrase that I've told myself over and over again. I will never quit. This is Garrett. I'll talk to you later.